Hi and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Phelan. Our cameraman is Henry. Today we're going to show you the Cherokee Alpha Wolf 23RD. Um, before we get started, I do want to mention that it does come with your power uh, tongue jack, power stabilizer jacks, and power awning for your convenience. So we'll get started up front today with your power tongue jack. You do have your extend retract switch here on the front along with a light underneath here so you can see to hook up. It does have your adjustable foot uh, pad at the bottom as well. Behind the tongue jack is a dual 20 pound LP tank. It does come with your hard case cover along with your easy access lid so you can get right into your LP tank. Uh, behind there you'll notice there's uh, two bars. This is where you would mount your battery box and if you do any dry camping you can mount up to two there in that uh, cavity. <clears throat> this does come with your fiberglass uh, front cap here. It does have integrated LED lights on the front. Uh, this would be your switch for those. And then it does have your diamond plate rock guard here at the bottom as well. Moving around to the passenger side, this does come with a portable solar panel port. So like I mentioned, if you do any dry camping, you can get a portable solar panel to plug into that port to maintain your batteries for you. And then your front storage compartment is a large uh, pass-through storage from side to side. It does have uh, lights down in here for you. And then we have, like I mentioned, your power stabilizer jacks. I do have that in the down position so you can see what that looks like. Then you have your extend retract switch right up here on the side for you. And then you do also have a large awning. This is a 20 foot awning so it pretty much covers the whole side of your unit for you. It does have your adjustment on each side right here so you can adjust the pitch of the awning and so your water runs off while it is raining. Okay, you have your entertainment center underneath the awning right here. You have your TV bracket which is compatible to the one on the inside so you can take the TV from the inside, slide it in out here if you'd like. Your connections are down below along with your lighted LED speakers. You also have your aluminum rims along with your radial tires. Um, it might be a little bit dark, but it does come with a tire pressure monitor stem. Um, if you release uh, pressure, or if you pressure gets low, that will turn to red. So you can visually see your tire pressure is low in your uh, tire, and you can uh, air those up. I also removed the center cap so you can see it is an easy lube axle along with self-adjusting brakes. Water heater is a uh, six gallon gas electric DSI water heater. Uh, you can heat up to 10 gallons of water with gas or electric and 16 gallons of water with a combination of both. If you come down here and look in the lower left hand corner, there's an on and off switch right there for the electric side and then I'll show you the gas switch on the inside uh, for that. And then you also have your, uh, oh, one more thing. Always make sure you have water in the water heater before you turn the electric side on so you don't burn up your heating element. Right here is your outside shower. It does have your hot and cold. And then at your entry door is your stable step. This is a very nice step. We have a ton of good feedback on this. It does not rock your camper as you go in and out. Very easy to set up and take down. You have an adjustment on each leg on each side so you can adjust it to the contour of the ground so it lays level. But basically you open your door, which is, by the way, a friction hinge door. You don't have the latches like we've had in the past that you forget to unlatch or get brittle over uh, time. But you open the door, you lift it up, and there's a latch on the left-hand side right here that latches into the frame of your entry door. And then you would close your door and flip in your grab handle and you're ready to go. Move around to the back, you do have your 4 by 4 inch tube bumper on the back with a cap on each side. That is where you would store your sewer hose. Um, one more thing I forgot to point out on this corner, you do have a LP quick connect right here. So if you have an outdoor grill, 
you can uh, quick connect into that and that will feed off your two 20 pound LP tanks on the front. Back to the back end here on your bumper we do have your spare tire mounted for you there. And you'll also notice a black bracket underneath the clearance light at the top. That is for a backup camera. So if you'd like to add a backup camera, um, it is ready for that. You do have a 30 amp uh, port right here. It does come with your detachable cord, so you don't have a cord that you're pulling out and shoving back in, which is very convenient. And we'll move up in front of the slide out area. This will be your hookup center here and your dump station. We'll start with your dump station, which is down below. You have one three inch pipe coming out that would dump your gray and black. And you have uh, nice lever extensions here that make it very convenient for dumping. Your city fill is where you connect your water hose at a campsite. And your freshwater connection is where you would fill your freshwater tank. If you're dry camping, you would turn on the water pump switch on the inside, which I'll show you here in a bit. And you should be ready to go. Black tank flush is after you dump your black tank. Uh, you can connect your water hose to this port, and there's a sprayer on the back side of the tank that rinses that out for you. Then you have your satellite and cable hookups right beside that. And lastly, this would be again be the opposing side of your pass-through storage. And you can see your 30 amp detachable cord does come along with it. <clears throat> and these are uh, fiberglass with aluminum frame structure. And Alpha Wolf does it right. There are some manufacturers that claim to be aluminum structure with aluminum around the perimeter of the outside and that is it. Uh, they also frame in around each window, each compartment door, so everything is framed in and solid for you. So I believe that concludes the outside of the 23RD Alpha Wolf, and now we'll move to the inside. Before we move to the inside, there is one thing I did forget to mention. Um, this does have your enclosed underbelly, so you do have enclosed and heated tanks. On the inside, we have your sofa in the back. You have your Dyna Entertainment Center in the slide-out area, and your kitchen directly to the left as you come in, and then your bedroom in the front. We'll start right inside on the overhead cabinet of the kitchen. This is your monitor panel uh, where your interior, exterior light switches are, your slide-out and awning switches. Uh, this is also your monitor panel where you check your uh, battery level and your fresh black gray tank levels. And then also your water pump switch, if you're dry camping, would be the one on the left. And then your water heater switch for the gas side of the water heater would be on the right. And then these would be your interior, exterior light switches. And the switch that you see right there is um, for your fireplace, microwave. Uh, what that is, is a lot of times if you have a fireplace added you have to upgrade to a 50 amp unit. This we do not have to with that switch, but you cannot run the microwave and the fireplace together. So that would shut one or the other off. So you could stick with your 30 amp connection. We'll start here in the back. Uh, it does come with a sofa, uh, what they call a bifold, trifold sofa that folds out for a sleeping area. This would transform into a bed for you. You have a nightstand on each side. Uh, this side would have cavity as well as your USB port on each side of the sofa. But this side does not have your open cavity. Uh, you do have overhead. Oh, if you look at the pictures on our website, I do have the sofa out so you can see what that looks like. Above the sofa, you do have overhead cabinets. These have your glass inserted doors for you. And moving over into the slide out area, you do have LED light above the slide out. You have a pantry on one end, your entertainment center, and your dinette table with four chairs. And underneath each cushion is storage. You have your fireplace. And this actually is a, I believe it's a 5,000 BTU fireplace, so it does throw heat off for you. And then you have your 
stereo right here. This is F, uh, AM, FM, DVD player, Bluetooth compatible. And then you have your entertainment center. Like I mentioned, this has your TV bracket that is compatible to the outside. It does come with your plate that you would mount on your TV. You have your uh, video cords there. And on the inside of the pantry would be your connections then for the TV. You do have a pantry behind your entertainment center. It is a very large, deep pantry. So lots of nice storage there. And then we will move over to the... Uh, before we get to the kitchen, I'm going to hit on the thermostat right here. This is a touch screen. This is what operates your furnace and your air conditioner. In the kitchen area, we have your eight cubic foot refrigerator, your microwave in the overhead cabinet, again with glass inserted overhead cabinet doors. And then we have your farm style kitchen sink, as well as your drawers and cabinet door in the base cabinet. Uh, we'll start with the refrigerator. This is gas and electric so it automatically will be 110 if that's not available available it will automatically kick over to your gas so you do have your separate uh, freezer compartment from your refrigerator microwave in the overhead you do have your oven slash three burner stove top this does have a switch on the right hand side has a blue LED light around each burner. You have your oven. You have a glass drop-in cooktop here on the top, so it gives you more countertop space if you're not using the stove. And this is, has a bifold cover that folds back and also serves as a splash guard. You do have a flush-mounted sink cover here at the kitchen sink, again giving you more countertop space if you're not using the sink and that is a single bowl farm style sink along with your high-rise kitchen faucet okay I think we'll move back into the bathroom area this does have your stand-up corner shower and it does have your skylight above the shower it has your creative breeze fan a medicine cabinet that you can open and utilize not just a mirror on the wall you have a linen closet from floor to ceiling and then you have your toilet that gives you leg room and then you have a pocket door um, or sliding door there in the bedroom area to separate that off for privacy in the bedroom you do also have um, overhead cabinets uh, instead of a shelf like a lot of people do so you have a lot of nice storage in the bedroom as well as a wardrobe on each side and you have a USB port and a um, outlet on each side as well and this is a queen bed this would be your RV queen and you do have storage underneath there as well Okay, backing up here a little bit, I'm going to show you how it looks from the head of the bed. You do have a TV bracket already mounted on the wall in the bedroom, along with connections in the ceiling. You can see your AC is ducted. And I believe that concludes the inside. The 23RD, I'll do one more brief walkthrough for you. Again, we are the Outpost RV. You can contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Again, my name is Phelan, and thank you for watching.